Now, our West Country School is warning parents about the effect that video games are having on the children they teach. Teachers say they've noticed behaviour changes in pupils who've been playing the popular online game Fortnite. Now, an Exeter video games journalist is calling for more education for parents about the dangers of excessive gaming. Here's Ken Goodwin. Mention the name Fortnite and most parents will know exactly what you mean. The kids glued to their screens with a set of headphones on playing an online game that pits 100 players against each other in a virtual world. It's like a 100 player game so you just basically shoot, find guns and shoot people. It's very hard to get a win sometimes because there can be much more pl players and they're much better than you. So popular has it become that schools have been inviting parents in along with their children to remind them that the game and others can be extremely addictive and can have negative effects on children's performance and behaviour. It talks a bit about attitude, tiredness, because they are playing the game at night rather than going to sleep. They are not developing their thinking skills. Something that some are already noticing. How difficult is it for parents to say to a young person, get off of that screen? It's very really difficult because he, he, he don't understand what do we say for him. He say just, oh, you don't let me play. Why you don't let me play? All my friend is playing. All my friends have play, play games a lot of times. We've had um, a number of issues with some children who've been exhibiting aggressive behaviour, using poor language. And when we've asked them and talked to them about where this has come from, Quite a lot of some of the behaviours that we've seen recently have come from the game Fortnite. Elizabeth Jordan lets her children play Fortnite, but she says she restricts their screen time. I only tend to let them play for an hour a day, and we normally have sort of two computer-free days in the week. Um, I can see that once you're involved in the game, sometimes you want to stay, and my children find it difficult sometimes when I say it's time to finish. Andy Robertson, an Exeter journalist currently writing a book about gaming, says banning children from playing video games is probably not the answer. It's about education. Obviously, if it's causing a problem in school, it's, it's a good thing for the parents and the teachers to be in conversation about that and to collaborate. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, the school has a great role to play in connecting parents with really good information and advice so that the parents can then do their role that they're really good at, at parenting their own children. Fortnite comes with a 12 rating, so children under that age should not be playing it. Whatever your views about the game, it is the most popular in the world, and players seemingly cannot get enough of it. Ken Goodwin, ITV News. Well, we have contacted the makers of Fortnite, Epic Games, but have so far received no reply. Plenty of you have been getting in touch with your views, though. Vicky Molyneux from St Austell posted, I used to switch off the internet mid-game if my son ignored me calling him. We're the parents, and it's our responsibility to set rules regarding these games. Uh, Ella Taylor has been in touch to say, My usually placid, gentle boy becomes unrecognisable. He gets very angry and defiant. I have had to take away the TV lead and hide it because he was getting up early to play. But Jenny James from Plymouth disagrees. She says it's no different from movies or TV. Why pick on one game? We've had lots of your views from different sides of the debate. Thank you to everyone who got in touch.